So I'll tell you what really does my head in. That was a rhetorical question. Reality TV. Reality TV does my head in. I know it's not exactly a new idea, this is it. Reality TV has been doing people's heads in since it began. Nobody likes it, everybody finds it irritating, yet it's still on television all the time. So why are people watching something that they know is a load of rubbish? That's a good question, isn't it? The answer is they can't think of anything else to do. They've no imagination. They're simply just going to watch the television no matter what's on. And reality television, of course, is cheap. I could do a reality television programme without being in this haunted little room. The truth is, people's expectations just become lower and lower and lower, and they just get used to being dissatisfied and putting up with it. I remember once being with a group of friends and they were watching a television programme and suddenly the adverts come on. And rather than going back to having a conversation or switching it off, they all just sat there watching adverts. And that was the start of me realising just how bad television is for your imagination. Before the proper reality television thing had taken a stronghold. Honestly, you can't tell me that things have got better since then. People have just become conditioned to like nothing. To like stuff that doesn't have any real value to it. To the extent that when they do see something with some value, they don't recognise it and they don't like it. And they can't get to grips with it. Now I don't watch reality television. I would rather spoon out my own eyeballs and replace them for pickled eggs. But it seems like the majority of people do. So this is a very lonely argument for me to have. So what is it that's so good about it all? Nothing is the answer. That is the answer. That's what people want. Nothing. All they want is gossip and disaster. Um, to enjoy someone else's misfortune. It's not a very nice way to be, is it? Gossip. 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 Unless someone's getting injured or hurt or beaten up or something, nobody really cares. You know that, don't you? Hey, did you hear about what happened to Terry? Oh, what's that then? He just got a new job. All right. Did you know that people used to read books for pleasure? Uh, not because they had to do, but because they wanted to read something. Nowadays, that's not possible at all. Reading's a chore. You do it if you have to do. Why well, I think memes are so popular. Even articles posted and linked to Facebook these days, have they have to put in there two minute read, three minute read or what have you, so that the potential reader then can figure out whether it's actually worth an investment in their time or not. So reality television switches you off. And then there's the internet, social media, that's all people care about these days, causing people to have a very, very short attention span. And we used to make fun out of goldfishes for that kind of thing. When I was growing up, the unrealistic career path to try and take would be to become an astronaut. And if not an astronaut, a footballer or a rhodium salesman. These days, none of that's particularly desirable because it means either studying physics or doing some exercise. So now the only thing people want to be are influencers. Influencers. Yes, internet people that get paid for just doing what they feel like. What do you think? Isn't that what you're doing? Making videos, trying to be entertaining, trying to be yourself. Uh, yeah, but I'm not trying to influence anyone. Honestly, the last thing I want is to anyone try and copy me. It used to be the case that uh, people would become famous for having an amazing talent, something really interesting. These days, having nice hair will do. Or having a really funny laugh. <laughs> <laughs> See? Being annoying, being irritating is all considered a talent these days. Whereas anything that's actually interesting, oh, it's just boring that. Who wants to know about that? Yes, I am grumpy. I am miserable about it. Why should all the stupid people get all of the attention? These days, stupid is the new clever. Annoying is the new interesting. What a sad place we live in. My closing thought for this video while having a poo is that there doesn't really seem to be room these days for actual people with any kind of personality. Everyone's got to conform and pretty much be the same. Otherwise, they're considered weird. At best, bohemian or eccentric. Why can't you just be a person without being considered eccentric?